so you had an opportunity to walk through as well. A little, a little bit. bit. Like I did the third floor. The bathrooms, I do feel a child. You know, the fact that several different witnesses now have used the same name, and in my process I picked up on a couple of different names, I think that that's going to be important for us tonight is to make some sort of connection that is a name. I would be also interested to see if there is a connection between that, that man, that father figure, and these kids. That Did are you here. feel that father figure? Totally, yeah. Like I said, when I first walked in, it was like the eyes from that painting were on me, but not from that painting. And the image of like somebody overseeing a bunch of tiny little coffins in that space was very, very vivid for me. Did you get a sense of it being an intelligent spirit or mostly more residual energy? I mean, the imagery of the box is all stacked up. That could potentially be residual because there's a lot of tragic circumstances surrounding this building and its uses over the years have been to house the dead on two very big occasions. Fairly classic approach, I think, is what we need tonight, but what do you feel about the equipment we should be using? I definitely think we should do a sweep with the K2 meter, and I think we should think about setting up a security camera on the third floor, because you did mention the paper towel sensor going off by itself. Yeah, there was definitely movement up there, and if we can capture that, that would be amazing.